Okay, with the Tesla Model Y Juniper, and we'll be driving FSD to a supercharger from a parking space, and we'll see if it actually parks itself when we get to the supercharger. So in order for this to be one touch and go, you need to go to control under autopilot. You need to be under full self-driving supervised, start full self-driving supervised from park. So you want to toggle that on and then turn off the brake confirmation. And that is basically it. So let's go ahead and find a nearby Let's find a supercharger that has more opening, just in case if it's full. So this one has 15 stall available out 20. So all we need to do is hit navigate to this supercharger. In 500 feet, turn right onto South Imperial And Highway. then just for, you know, uh, the video, I want to turn off the sound. So you can do that by going to setting, turn off the sound. And that is it. So you can put the address from the main display or you can do it from your phone as well and transfer it to the actual vehicle from your mobile phone. And that is it. So all you need to do is get in your vehicle. You have your phone key already right here. And then you just step on, I think you just step on the brake. Yeah. You, you well, actually, you don't need to step on the brake because I turned that function off. You just need to tap on the display here where it says Start FSD Supervised, press and hold. And then once you press and hold, it will automatically back out of the driveway or the parking space, or it will drive forward if you happen to park on the curve. So that's essentially how it works. And let's go. So just tap on this. Hopefully it goes in reverse. So it's going in reverse right now. We have a front camera too. The front camera is very clear. It's as clear as the Cybertruck. With the AI4, it should recognize speed bump. So there's a speed bump coming up. I'm not sure why it's... <laughs> Ooh. Not sure what is it doing. Oh, that's that's weird. So it's backing up. This is weird. So it's backing up and then it's going the opposite way. It should have went around. So now we're going the wrong way. This is, this is AI functioning and it's driving on the left side again for whatever reason. So it does recognize the speed bump. I'm not doing anything. This is, you know, the latest firmware update. It's kind of scary. So luckily there's nobody in this parking space that was weird. It's supposed to loop around and turn around um, within that parking space. So that was a one-way direction. So I accidentally hit the steering wheel so it kind of stopped. Um, so there's a car coming. So I just slammed the brake there. I didn't do anything. So yeah, so, so far no intervention. I just letting it do its thing. But that was a dangerous maneuver from the start. Uh, let's see how this video goes for the rest of the, the ride here. So it's going to make a right at the light here. Uh, typically, I would be closer to the right side. Uh, so nobody's trying to cut me on uh, towards the curve here. So that's another situation that could be confusing for the vehicle itself. So there you are. There's a vehicle behind me, as I suspected. It's coming from the side. It's trying to come up, go towards the right. So it's, it's definitely not that smart yet, even with the AI. Because this intersection, people will try to go to the right because they don't want to wait in the long line to go straight. So you can see that those cars are already lining up towards the right there. Um, they're going to make a right turn. We have to make a right as well. So let's see how it, it handles. I'm going to change this to hurry. 
Uh, earlier was just on standard, so hurry, hopefully it will get in front of that vehicle. Oof, kind of nervous. Okay, now it's signal. So, it should have stayed closer to the right earlier. There's a pedestrian, so there's four F-150, a stop for it. Nice pedestrian running across so we don't have to wait. Unlike those Gen Z. Just kidding. So it's gonna stay towards the right lane uh, as it turned right, and then towards the left lane as it turns left, which is what's required per the DMV. So although I'm in hurry mode, it's just cruising at 40. So this is very slow um, for hurry. Typically it goes about 10% um, above the speed limit when you're in hurry. So that should have been that 45 a lot quicker. So I'm gonna turn the front camera here for you guys to see. Okay, so it's going around the slower vehicle, so that was smart of it. But it waited last minute or last second to do it. And it's a clear day. I mean, the sun is not hitting the camera, it's facing the other way. It should have safely moved over earlier. There's a Rivian R1S there, it's like a dual motor. Beautiful color. Okay, so we're just cruising. We're gonna be on this stretch row for another one or two minutes before we have to bank into the further right lane and then get into the plaza with the supercharger. So even in hurry mode, it's still very comfortable. Um, I'm gonna try standard and see how it goes. So with standard, it should stay within the speed limit, whatever the speed limit is. Um, so 40, so it should stay around 40. And acceleration seems to be uh, less aggressive, although the hurry wasn't even aggressive at all. It's normally how I would drive if I'm driving regularly. So even with this latest firmware um, update, I haven't seen, I mean, probably less improvement because it went the wrong way earlier at the beginning of the video. But let's see how it does once it gets to the supercharger and does it back itself in and how it determines which one to back into. Because this is the urban supercharger oh, and usually you wanna park every other charger not next to someone else and since there's 15 available I assume there should be plenty and hopefully it doesn't park next to one that's already charging because it could slow their charging rate down so that lane change was very smooth no anxiety with that change and there's a curve coming up here the road markings um, is visible to the naked eye but it is more worn out on this uh, section of the road but it still is able to see it just fine and I have a feeling that it watches both sides so if the center lane marking is faded it relies on the right side and so forth So this is when I start um, going to the right lane uh, to turn, but as you can see, it's just cruising right over. People usually speed up here. It is using its indicator a few seconds before the turn, so that's great. 
this turn is coming in a little bit too quick for my taste. So that was nice. So it, it sensed that the stop sign is coming up. So it quickly merged to the left because we have to make a left turn right here and it didn't stay to the right lane. The old Hardware 3 will do that and then it gets stuck because the car behind you is already on the left lane. Here's another speed bump. Oh, it didn't really slow down for that one. Turning is really good here, very smooth. And we're about to arrive at the Tesla Supercharger, this urban supercharger, which Tesla doesn't make anymore. I wish they still make these because, and I don't know why it's staying here for a while. There's no vehicle coming up, but the intersection is kind of weird. It's not, uh, it's at an angle. There's a Kiera coming to charge here. Okay, so let's see what it's gonna do. So their supercharger that we just passed, but it literally just passed those. And now it's gonna go to the other side. So the other side is a lot more busier. Okay, so it's not smart enough to go to the side. Although I do prefer this side because it's not facing the sun. Okay, I'm at the supercharger. It's not parking itself. It's, go, it's literally going in a circle. What is it doing? Okay, it's, it's sitting on two line markings here. Is that it? Is it just gonna stay here? Okay, it, it, it did not park itself. Sorry, it didn't work this time. But I'm literally in between, I'm parking between two lines, two parking space. So that's a fail. So we'll do more testing with the latest firmware update. Uh, let me see, this one is software. Um, software 2025.20.3. Uh, version 12, so it's the latest, V13.2.9 FSD. Yeah, so, okay, more work to do. And uh, Tesla RoboTaxi is supposed to start in one day. Hopefully it doesn't go in the wrong direction. It probably will not do well in San Francisco uh, or One Way Street. So good luck with that. Just be careful. Um, for those that have reservation to ride a robo taxi, good luck to you and be safe out there. Catch you in the next video. If you're interested in Tesla vehicle, link in the description of this video. You can get up to um, a $7,500 off federal credit. That will go away soon, I think. And then uh, there's some uh, inventory discount too. So whether you're interested in the Cybertruck, um, Model Y, 3, S, or X, there's good deals on all of them right now. The Y Juniper has 1.990%, and then uh, I think the Cybertruck has 0% APR, um, but nobody's really buying that vehicle due to all the recalls and issues it's having. So, but if you're interested in that, pretty good deal right now. Price, I would suspect, still will continue to drop. Um, but I do want to see if there's any there's any control that I miss here. Uh, nope, everything seems to be on. Seems to be good. So we'll continue to test this out, and we'll do another video follow up. Remember to subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one. Take care.